Shocking Asia. This flick. <laughs> this flick was fucking wild. Uh, more like a documentary than a flick, actually. And this is from 1974. Uh, this is the 86 release from Magnum. And it just takes a look at the darker sides of some of the Asian cultures. Um, they follow some cremation ceremonies. Um, and they, they show the whole thing with the bodies being prepped and laid into the pyre. Uh, they talk about how wood has become rare and expensive and how some families can't afford enough wood to fully cremate family members. So bodies are being sent out into the lake just either singed or partially burned. And this is the same river or lake where uh, I think it's a river where they're bathing and drinking the water and they even mention how like members of the community don't even get sick while being in this water fucking bathing and drinking with rotting corpses just a few feet away from them uh, that shit's wild um, it goes into some of the weird food market stuff with bat soup and snake prepping I wasn't really big on watching fucking snakes getting skinned and shit like that so that shit didn't really impress me much um, it kicks into talking with a doctor who was performing sex change operations for people um, that was really interesting watching him talk about how he got into the whole sex change industry um, basically a tranny told him that if he wouldn't do the operation the next time he would see them was when they were dead so that kind of pushed him into it um, and then he said after the hardest part about performing these operations was convincing himself that these people would benefit mentally from the operation. He wasn't just going to do it on anybody. He wanted to make sure they knew what they were getting themselves into. And once he convinced himself they'd be better off with the operation he referred them to his psychiatrist just to get an evaluation to make sure they're in the right state of mind because this isn't really something you can fucking reverse um, and then they show a condensed version of the whole four-hour operation and that was incredible uh, that was fucking dope um, I've seen a few other sex change operation videos, but this one was probably the best one I've seen. So it went into full detail and like carving out a new cunt for the person and shit. Like the shit was fucking dope. Um, the erotic tattooing that I mentioned in the unboxing of this was meh. They're just shaving or tattooing down. In the pubic region of chicks, like whoop d. I I was expecting. I don't know what the fuck I was expecting. I was thinking maybe chicks would be playing with themselves while they're getting their fucking tits or fucking cunt tattooed and pierced and shit. But nope, that that shit was a little boring. Um, the sex hotel was fucking funny though, with the glass bottom cage the couple gets into and then they're lowered into a pool 
the frolic a bit before jumping into the spinning bed. That shit was funny. Um, but yeah, overall, this was a dope ass documentary. Um, I saw on eBay there's a DVD for Shocking Asia Part 2. So I'm going to have to look into that release a bit more. Um, but yeah, definitely, if you can, pick up Shocking Asia. Uh, this is the VHS. I'm pretty sure there's a DVD release of it as well. I highly recommend grabbing whichever one. It runs about an hour and a half long. Um, and yeah, it kept my attention for the most part. Like, I just kind of didn't really bother watching when they were fucking slicing up the animals. That's not my shit. I'd rather watch them just fucking carve up people and serve that as food. But whatever. <laughs> I'm probably biased because I keep snakes as pets, though. And I've always wanted a pet bat. <laughs> but yeah, so enough rambling. Shocking Asia. Grab that shit, whatever format you can. It's definitely worth a watch if you're into bizarre documentaries. And that's going to wrap up this review. Thanks for watching, folks. Stay sleazy. Peace.